What's up everyone out in the World Wide Web? Today I'm covering Mary Poppins Returns. If you're new to my channel, welcome! Here on Viral Thoughts, we use Aristotle's elements of drama to write movies. And today is Mary Poppins Returns. First element is plot. I would have to say that Mary Poppins Returns is a riddle plot, most likely. Um, the premise is this. 20 years, approximately, after Mary Poppins left the Banks family in the original film, Mary Poppins returns to help Michael Banks, now a father, save his family house from being claimed by the evil banker. This is a pretty soft plot in my opinion. However, I do want to mention something about relevancy. Losing a house is applicable. This happened to me actually. Uh, a number of years ago, our landlord foreclosed on the house and the house was claimed by the bank, much like in this movie. So this is a plot that can be relevant to society. But it also was, wasn't was that memorable of a plot, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm rating the plot a 2.5 out of 5 star. Character. Mary Poppins is the character that changes others. She's that perfect character. She doesn't change throughout the movie. I think in this case, she has a perfect character syndrome, where the perfect character influences the others to change instead of her herself changing. So let's look at the other characters then. During the beginning of the movie, the children acted like responsible adults, taking responsibility to go out for groceries and watching out for their younger brother. By the end of the movie, they were more playful, but most of the character development wasn't actually the children where the most attention was on. The, the change came to the dad. The dad is where it gets interesting. There is an imbalance in the Banks household. See, the dad's wife passed away previously to the movie. And he is broken. He's mentioned once how he felt parented by his kids. Now, in my mind, that is an imbalance in the story that the story should fix. However, by the end, he wasn't acting like an adult yet. He was happier, yes, and he was able to get over his grief of his wife passing away, but he wasn't showing that he was a competent parent yet. And for those reasons, I give the character a 2.5 out of 5 star. Next is theme. Being an adult is bad. Reality is false, make the impossible possible, and people think too much. These are the themes I picked up. Personally, I think that this is an imbalance. As discussed in my Christopher Robin video, I mentioned that many times they pit adulthood and childhood against each other. And that is what Mary Poppins did in my opinion. There wasn't a call to the dad to be more responsible, simply to be more kid-like. Once that happened, everything was okay by the end of the movie. I think this slight this is a slightly delusional theme because adults, especially parents, need to be, take responsibility to provide stability for their children, not play around necessarily. So I give theme a 2.5 out of 5 star. Dialogue. Nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. Mary Poppins Returns is filled with nostalgia. There are so many lines that reference the original Mary Poppins that make you want to go back and watch the original. There are a few funny lines like catching a nanny with a kite. I was flying the kite when I got caught on a nanny! But the best quotes are repeating the themes that are, I brought up earlier. But I overall think that the dialogue is more or less average. So I give dialogue a 3 out of 5 star. Music and rhythm. This is a musical, just like the original. In fact, they have parallel songs that matches the original songs. Such as the working class song. <laughs> The mixed media cartoon number. Oh, super color <laughs> Nelly Rubina was made of wood, but what could not be seen was the Dancing on the Ceiling song. We love to laugh. He's this rest in his out, and that is why I need to shut on And the end flying song. Now I'm not a music critic, but to me the music wasn't as catchy as the originals. I also think that there are cases the lyrics were too fast. The singing was solid, but it wasn't as good as the original in my opinion. Maybe that makes me uncultured swine, but that's what I think. I give music 
and rid them a three out of five star. Spectacle! This movie really, really tried hard to be close to the original Mary Poppins. And for the most part, they did really well. It's very nostalgic and whimsical, just like the original. The only thing is that bugged me was the modern bike tricks. That really confused me. That seemed very odd to me. So I give Spectacle a four out of five for nostalgia. Now I just do want to give some idea of what other critics are saying about Mary Poppins Returns. Ollie Richard from Empire says, Against all odds, this is a very worthy follow-up to the original movie. Blunt, Mary Poppins, is pitch per perfect as ever in a film that all but insists that you leave with a smile slapped on your face. A critic from Film Companion says, Despite its fantastical visual popping world, the film doesn't quite achieve liftoff. And from New York Times, they say, Mary Poppins returns a mostly charmless venture as a modern update of the 1964 film, one that has brushed off the story, making it louder, harsher, and aggressively smiley. If you love the original, you will probably like part two. However, this is a kid's movie. Their target audience is kids and older people who are nostalgic for the original. I don't think it really added too much to the whole Mary Poppins story. I give Mary Poppins Returns a three out of five star. And that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video and comment below about what kind of remakes you would like to see in the future or what remakes should not have been made. Me personally, I actually would really like to see a remake of Willow. Have you seen that movie? You should. Well, thank you so much for watching. Be kind to each other out there. And remember, it's not what you watch. It's how you watch it that makes you a scholar. Now, think about this for a second. Both Mary Poppins and Guardians of the Galaxy 2 were owned by Disney. So do you think that Guardians of the Galaxy, the I'm Mary Poppins, y'all, quote, primed us to watch Mary Poppins? Probably conspiracy.